quite overwhelmed with uh, being here today and launching this book. It's sort of like, um, I don't know what having a baby's like in terms of being a mum, <laughs> but or I know it took about five times, five times longer. So I want to illustrate something in telling you what the book's about. I just want you now to all close your eyes, please, and point to Geelong, in the direction of Geelong, please. Open your eyes, keep your hand pointed. Now we have people pointing in every possible direction. Every single one of you needs an electronic GPS. But unfortunately, it's the same in organisations. Because if you ask most people in most organisations to close their eyes and tell you to point in the direction their organisation's heading, they all point in different directions. They, most organisations, employees have a very different view about where the organisation's heading, why it's going there and the values that will guide the way. And that's basically why I wrote the book. When you're building your organisational GPS, you're building a vision as to what you want your organisation to look like. Not when it's dead, but when it's achieved amazing success. In that five, ten years time and way beyond, what's it look like? Where are we going? And build that picture with your team. It's not an individual thing, with your team. And it's engaging your people. And then, and why are we doing that? For what purpose are we doing it? What's going to fulfil and excite and energise our people? And what values will guide our way? What values are we all going to sign up to that are essential for us to get there? And that's what this process is all about. Peter Aitchison talks about it as um, a practical, simple to follow advice to ensure that everybody from the chairman to the mailroom clerk is aligned around a single direction and purpose. And I think that's another perspective, from the chairman to the mailroom staff, all aligned around a single purpose and direction. Um, George Savides has a similar take on it to Peter about it being an absolutely fundamental foundation to building strategy. In other words, strategy is two to five years, GPS is all about five, ten years and beyond. You can't do your two to five until you know the long term and you can't then you do your strategy, then you do your business plan, then you do your daily actions. And it's a process. And it's lining all those up and having alignment and congruence. Des talks about that a lot. And we measure that, don't we, Des? We measure alignment and engagement. And Peter Johnson, who's here today, um, Peter talks it about, about it as being a deceptively simple framework for the complexities of organisational leadership for all sorts of organisations, whether corporate, government or the not-for-profit sector. Ken Blanchard, who uh, wrote the foreword to the book, and it was a great privilege to meet Ken. Ken was actually here last week and we had a few days with him and we're just soaking up the wisdom of that chap. If Ken was here, he would say that he wrote The One Minute Manager, he's written 30 other business books, and if he was here today, he'd say, look, I've been in this game for 40, 50 years, and out of all that, I've learned two main things. I've learned one, about leadership. Leadership's about going somewhere. And unless you have a clear statement and clarity about your direction, purpose, and the way you want your employees to behave, unless you have a clear vision, mission, and values, your leadership matters for nothing. It doesn't matter. Because leadership's about going somewhere and you're guiding that direction. The second thing he'd say is that everybody needs something to serve. And if you don't have, and if you can't as a leader, build a compelling vision, a worthwhile purpose and worthwhile goals, there is nothing to serve in an organisation other than yourself. That's another take. At InSync Surveys now, we are involved in measuring climate and culture of organisations. And we see every day the great benefits of clarity of direction, strong leadership and a great culture and unfortunately all too often we see the opposite and it's not a pretty sight. So I'm absolutely convinced that if you adopt the principles, the framework and the tools and advice in the book, there is absolutely certain that you will be able to engage your employees, they'll be more energised, they'll be more focused, that will lead to better places of work, that will lead to greater productivity, that it will lead to higher organisational performance and everybody will be much better off. I've been asking how we launch books, do we cut cakes, do we cut things or whatever. 
And I wasn't quite sure how we do that, but I think I should hereby, who's going to catch this, Brian, I think, I should hereby declare the book launched. Thanks, Peter, very much. Thank you all.